guys welcome back to my channel we are back home if you guys missed my last vlog we were away for about 10 days we had such a nice time and if you guys haven't seen that video i will have it linked down below and this is going to be a few days in my life kind of getting back into the swing of things we literally have no groceries in our fridge so i thought i would also include a little grocery haul in this video as well i also want to do a little bit of meal prep so i thought i would share that with you guys and show you some of the things i like to have kind of like ready in the fridge just to make things a little bit easier and share some other little fun things with you guys as well so i hope that you guys are going to enjoy this vlog this is what our fridge looks like right now it is so empty <laughs> but i did take advantage of it being this empty so i just cleaned out all of the surfaces this is my very comfy and cozy outfit of the day today just great for running errands this coat is from mango my sweatpants are from fabletics these are definitely my favorite sweatpants i've ever owned just the style the fit i got these in a size m and i believe it's the justin sweatpant they are so, so nice. My sneakers are from Nike. I love these so much as well. The color is so pretty. And then sweater is old from Mango. Got my Sunrev bag. And my necklaces are from Misoma, as are my gold hoops. I will make sure to have these pieces linked as well as everything else that I can find online. guys so we are back home from the grocery store and this is what we got i usually do this on mondays and i really try to get enough food for the week so that i don't have to go so often of course with fresh vegetables these tend to go quicker but with dried goods i really try to stock up on things like pastas and nuts even yogurt like tuna or wild salmon i got a few more packs of these that i've already put in the freezer rice lentils things like that just to kind of save me time during the week so starting on this side i've got Got some spinach I got three packs of these we go through this really quick in smoothies our vegetables in the morning soups uh, curries I just throw spinach in everything <laughs> got some broccoli asparagus cucumber eggplant we have been obsessed with eggplant I love to just toss them in some olive oil and bake them in the oven for like 30 minutes and they are so so delicious also with broccoli you can do these together i also got some grapes i'm going to wash these and put them in the freezer i mentioned in my last vlog that they were doing these at the hotel that we stayed at last week and mo and i were so obsessed with them so we want to do it at home i also got some frozen vegetables i think this is such an important thing for busy nights you could add these to pastas you can make soups with them got some zucchinis i love to cook with these they are so versatile we have them at breakfast with red bell pepper and red onion i will show you guys how i kind of meal prep this a little bit later in this video and then over here this is something that i've actually been wanting to show you guys these are ready-made soups but the ingredients and the way that they're made is actually really good they don't have a bunch of preservatives and artificial ingredients in them the ingredient label is really simple and clean and they are from a brand called little lunch one of my favorites is the little italy I also love the tomato soup and Mo's favorite is the little chicken. These are so good for just easy quick meals and great as a little side for like a salad or again a sandwich. I've also got some olives here and kimchi. This is really great for your gut. Lots of good probiotics and also some sauerkraut. We like to add these to salads. Moving on to here we've got lemons, cherry tomatoes, again the red bell peppers red onion we've got some hummus here and green beans we love green beans just steamed i've really been into red rooibos tea in the afternoons and in the evenings it's so so delicious really nice and relaxing and this has a little bit of vanilla in there too so it's so so good and i also got some more matcha here we've got some chocolate some dark chocolate 
a few different kinds of protein bars great as a little afternoon snack or if you're just out on the go some frozen wild blueberries i got a few packs of these i really like these for my chia puddings here we've got some rice buckwheat dark chocolate crackers really love these i got two packs of those also got some yogurt for my chia pudding and also the chicken salad that i like to make and this is my current favorite it's an organic soy yogurt with very minimal ingredients and this is most favorite it's a skyer yogurt and it's the natural flavor here we've got some pastas some chickpea pasta and this is some corn and rice pasta i love sun-dried tomatoes i want to make my uh, lentil salad again i'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys if you want to check it out but it's so good also love to cook with these as well they add so much flavor and then i've got some walnuts two cartons of organic eggs some gluten-free gnocchi i got a few packs of those then we also have a few packs of smoked salmon and some tuna this is some brown himalayan rice some green lentils and finally a few packs of wild caught salmon get into the meal prep i have to share that we are in full laundry mode since getting back home and our apartment smells so good because i actually used a new fabric softener kind of scent and i got this when we were in dubai this was actually a recommendation from one of my viewers it is an oud scented fabric softener and it is only available in the middle east and she wrote me that i have to go try it because she knows that i really love good scented things and it is absolutely incredible so if you guys are ever in Dubai or if you live in the Middle East, definitely check this out. It smells absolutely incredible and it scents the clothes so beautifully and we can really smell it throughout the apartment. So I just had to share that. I thought that was really fun and something that is definitely a nice little memory now from Dubai. On the topic of scents, another thing I'm so obsessed with right now is the sandalwood and fig deodorant from Native. This became my vacation scent when we were away. It is so so good the actual deodorant is really great like it works amazing as a deodorant but the actual scent uh, when i smell this it literally takes me back to those sunny days it's got a little sweetness from the fig and then the sandalwood just gives it this really nice rich kind of luxurious kind of modern but a little bit earthy feel to it it is really really good and if you guys haven't heard of native yet they are my favorite deodorant brand i've been using their deodorants for about two years and i love them they work really well the ingredients are also very clean they are aluminium free paraben free sulfate free and they're are also vegan and cruelty free and not only that the texture is really nice as well so it goes on very smooth it dries quick i never get any irritations from using their deodorant plus again the scent it's really long lasting and you get these nice little whiffs throughout the day which i really really love another one of my favorites which you guys probably know is the coconut and vanilla scent i would highly highly recommend this one as well and this is from their core collection and these ones you guys might notice that they have this really cute uh, design so these are from their limited collection that they did with a brand called Jungleo. they are an LA based lifestyle brand and they created these limited edition deodorants and also body washes and I love the designs of these they are so pretty and their whole theme is to kind of transport you to a different place without actually leaving your home so the sandalwood and fig is the one that I've been using the most the collection also includes the palm leaf and bergamot scent this is really nice and has a bit more of a floor feel to it 
definitely very uplifting which i think comes from the bergamot another really nice one from the collection is their paradise flower and amber this smells really refreshing and sort of like you had a really great shower in the middle of like a tropical island or something like that it has something very refreshing and vibrant to it and all of these are unisex as well and native have also come out with new body washes and toothpaste as well so you can treat your whole body to clean and safe products if you guys want to try any of these products they have offered all of you guys a special code so normally three deodorants are $36 but if you click the link in the description box down below and use my code AnnieJ4 at checkout then you will get three deodorants for $24 so that is 33% off this does also apply to their body washes and toothpaste as well so you will get 20% off with the code plus they also do free shipping in the US and they also ship to these other countries that I will put here on the screen so if you're looking for a really great deodorant i would highly highly recommend them again the ingredients are clean they actually work they're easy to apply and the scents are so so good they're long lasting again i'll make sure to leave the code and the link down below if you guys want to check them out so on to some meal prep for the week. So one thing that we love to have ready in the fridge are hard boiled eggs. And I love this little device. It makes it so easy to prepare them. You can choose how hard or how soft you want them. I get this on Amazon. I will have it linked down below. So these are of course great as a little afternoon snack or you can mash them up and have them on toast or put them on top of a salad. Another thing I love to prepare in advance are chia puddings. These are great as a breakfast or again as a snack in the afternoon and the ratio that I find that works best for me is one fourth of a cup of chia seeds to one cup liquid. I do also like to put in some collagen powder in my chia puddings as well for a little bit of extra protein. This has also been shown to be good for your skin health, your hair health, and also your gut lining. And then I also love cinnamon. So I put about half a teaspoon of cinnamon and about a fourth of a teaspoon of cardamom. I also add in some vanilla powder as well, which is this one that you see right now. And and then I just mix all of that together with a spoon to make sure that it's all blended. And then I will add in my cup of liquid. I like almond milk, but you can also use any other kind of plant milk that you like. Then again, just stir that up with a spoon. And you might wanna do this just a few times before you put it in the fridge to make sure that the chia and the liquid is really blended well together. But once that's done, you just pop it in the fridge, you leave it for at least 30 minutes, but you can keep this for up to three to four days in your fridge, maybe even longer, but that's usually how long it lasts in our fridge. And it's really nice to have with berries, either frozen or fresh. You can put some yogurt on the side with some nuts or almond butter, and it's so, so delicious. The next thing that I love to have meal prepped are our veggies that we have for our breakfast in the mornings. And we have this with some eggs and avocado toast. And doing this just saves me so much time in the morning. I absolutely love it. And having veggies with your breakfast, I know it's not a very common thing, but it is so good for your gut health. Veggies are so rich in fiber, which is amazing for your health and for your skin, for the overall functioning of your body, especially again, your gut and your digestion system and if you have them with eggs or with avocado toast the combination is really really delicious so we like zucchini uh, red bell pepper and red onion but you can also switch up the veggies you could do mushrooms or asparagus whatever kinds of veggies that you like and you can also add some fresh spinach on top when you're almost done cooking it. So I just put all of this into some glass containers and then when I'm ready to use it in the morning, I just empty one out into my frying pan, pop a lid on it, and it is super quick and easy. And lastly, I'm also loving meal prepping the chicken salad that we've been loving. And this is a really simple recipe. It is so good. I'll make sure to have the exact ingredients and amounts of all of these recipes down below in the description box. But you just want to shred some chicken and then I put in one red onion. And for some creaminess, I love to put in half of a mashed avocado. This avocado was pretty small, so I ended up using the whole thing. And then you also want to put in about half a cup of plant-based yogurt. I also like a little bit of mustard, some curry powder,
powder and the juice of half a lemon. I also put in some cranberries in there for a little bit of sweetness and then some salt and pepper and then you just want to mix all of that together and again just store it in a glass airtight container and this is great again on toast or you can have it with a salad or just as a snack you could put it in a wrap with some other veggies and it is so so good and this is what we had a little bit later for dinner. So I made us some oven roasted salmon and we had that with some gnocchi with spinach and a tomato sauce and some asparagus on the side. Hello you guys, it is the next day. I am having some of my red rooibos tea with a little bit of almond milk. It's seriously my absolute favorite and it is decaffeinated. It's naturally decaffeinated. So it's nice to have in the afternoons or in the evenings and it's a really nice relaxing tea. So love this. Also love the cup. Anyway, I wanted to chat a little bit about some of the things that I learned about my health when we were in Dubai and just doing things so differently than what we were doing at home and of course with all of us I think for the most part we've all pretty much been home and doing kind of the same thing for the last like year and a half you know with everything going on and the current situation and this was the first time for Mo and I that we were just kind of like thrusted out of our normal routine and it was really cool <laughs> like really interesting and I definitely want to implement a few of the things that we were doing there here back home in kind of like our everyday life so one of the things that i found really really impactful and i think the reason why i feel so good and why i felt so good on our trip is that we were sleeping a lot we weren't waking up with an alarm clock or anything so it was just really nice to let our bodies sleep until they wanted to and get like the full amount of rest we were kind of going to bed like 11 ish and waking up at around 8 or 9 at home i ideally like to be awake at around 6 and i will naturally go to bed around 10 but i would before i would go to bed by 10 and then i would have an alarm clock for 6 and actually the day after we got back i wasn't really thinking about this i went to bed i put my alarm clock on and the next morning i woke up but i felt so groggy and so tired and i was thinking like wow what a difference it makes to actually let your body sleep in to the point where it needs to and for me realistically it doesn't work for me to wake up at like eight or nine o'clock because i feel like that's a lot of my morning gone but what does work for me is to go to bed earlier and still try to wake up at the time that my alarm clock would wake me up but just naturally so that is what i've been doing for the last few days and i already noticed that it makes me feel a lot better just in my body and my mood and my mind but i did have like a security kind of backup alarm for eight o'clock in case i slept really really long but i have been going to bed at around like 9 10 o'clock so naturally now i'm waking up at around 6 6 30 again without an alarm clock so i know that my body just feels rested that way but i think this is something that definitely needs to be talked about more is the importance of sleep of course when we sleep that is when our body goes into deep healing and deep regeneration on a really cellular level it's so important for regulating our metabolism our immune system of course our mood and how we feel and so many other processes in the body so it's something that I definitely want to focus on more but in general I just really want to start trusting my body more when it comes to sleep and allowing it to sleep for the amount of time it needs not like based on my schedule and also just really listening to my body when it starts to get tired in the evening so I've kind of moved up my evening routine to be a little bit earlier but yeah I'm very excited about this and it's not something that I think I would have really thought about that much if it wasn't for us like completely changing up our environment and going somewhere else having different experiences and stuff and I definitely want to take that part of our trip and implement it back here at home something else that the trip taught me was the importance of slowing down and having fun and finding moments to just 
be silly, laugh about irrelevant things, but these things are important for how we feel and even just the functioning and the health of our body, our skin. Again, for us, because we had been in a very similar routine, I think it's important to sometimes just stop and smell the roses and not have to think about the next thing that has to get done, but just really being present in the moment and finding things that you can be grateful for, that you can laugh about and not get caught up on everything being like 150% because because then the stress from that can actually backfire and undo the progress or the good things that you've done. So I really do think it's about having a good balance. And sometimes it takes like a trip like that to really remind myself of things like that. But maybe some of this resonates with you guys and maybe you needed to hear this today. If you did, I hope that you also find time to make sure that you're sleeping enough, that you're taking it easy, that you're finding moments of joy and silliness and just laughter during the day and not being too hard on yourself. So I hope that was a good little reminder because I needed that too. Are these three different smells? Yeah. So basically this is, you can actually see that this one is... Okay, wait, let's, let's explain first what this is. So this is called Bakhur. Yeah, Bakhar, Bakhur, Bil Arabi in Arabic. This is essentially a fragrance, like a scent. It's actually where fragrance comes from, basically. We got this in Dubai, by the way. Yeah. And as I've shared a few things about fragrance already in this video, I wanted Mo to show this because it smells so, so good. It's the Arabic way of um, they saying the. They say that the paradise, when you come to the paradise, when you. Dawn, when you're gone. <laughs> when, when you return home. <laughs> when you turn home, smells like this. Oh, That's I didn't know say. that. And um, they have it in, in different uh, smells, but all of this is very oud inspired. Mm -hmm. And there's different different ways. So, for example, this one is a very dry one. You can see it looks like a piece of wood with oils and uh, this mm -hmm. on, like with the scent on it. And this one is a self-made more like very you can see it looks like almost like coal yeah it smells so good so beautiful yeah. oh my gosh i can't i don't know i can't describe it kind of floral a little sweet yeah. but not headachey you know it's just a really gorgeous and this gorgeous is really scent. like it, it feels almost like coffee it's like like pressed coffee and these are three different ones so i'm gonna mix them now but this is coal yeah it's just and a coal this little um how do you call this? This little thing here. We also got this in Dubai. You just make it a little bit hot. You mix it because the sense um, is is just the, like you can use it like separately, but you can also use it together. I prefer using it together. So you put it on. Wow, that's really like on fire. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it goes <laughs> oh off my God, directly. Careful. So now it's just gonna. Yeah, oh, that smells so good. It looks like kind of a room, they put their clothes on top mm -hmm. and they really let it sit in. And it smells for a very long time. If this is in your clothes, it takes like up to one week in your clothes. Mm -hmm. And it's like kind of a fragrance in a natural way. So just to explain, we're working with an old coal here and this coal has been already used. Normally the new coal, when you put it on, it burns by itself and it gets really hot and gets, you know, kind of this red, hot uh, coal so when it's that hot that it gets red at that moment you put this bakhur on and you don't burn them you just leave it like that and it burns very slowly this is how you do it this is the fast way how we did it do you want to do my outro i hope you like this video <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you in my next one bye guys <laughs> Also check the description box. Check the description for, for links, all the information recipes. that you need, recipes, links, whatever you need was mentioned in that video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you much. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.